Scorpio, welcome to your weekly love readings. These will be from the 16th until the 22nd of November. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit that notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. If you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of the details, including how to reach me, down in the description box below. All right, so today we are going to look at your love situation, your feelings, your person's feelings, most likely outcome advice, uh, romance angel, and we're going to finish on a three card pick a card. So if the message isn't resonating with you, you can actually just skip ahead to the three card pick a card. Hopefully one of your amazing souls will actually timestamp that for us um, and the question that you ask the universe doesn't need to be in relation to this reading so it's almost like a, a second mini reading um, in this one let's get started though love messages please for Scorpio for the 16th to the 22nd Scorpio 16th to the 22nd oh that's coming right out okay Page of, oh, sorry, uh, Knight of Cups there, Scorpio. So either you're going towards someone or someone is coming towards you. Mm. Why do I feel like, is it two of cups in reverse? So I feel like this is a connection which you've lost. Well, it's, it's actually, it's a situation where the connection feels not as strong and you, I feel like you're walking back towards it, um, just the way it's positioned. So I feel like you're revisiting it. You may have lost contact with this person or you feel suddenly like the connection isn't strong. Yeah, you're not prepared to have a new start without this person. Two more, please. Uh, I don't know why I nearly said Pisces. Scorpio. Love messages, please. Oh, wow. Okay. These cards are very talky today. I like it makes me feel like I've got a direct telephone line and they're like right that one <laughs> Ooh, okay yeah this is a situation which is a little bit toxic or you're dealing with a Capricorn I sense that it's actually toxic so um yeah I feel like you're walking back into this because you're not it's almost like you weren't ready to let go and have a new start without them with this full card in reverse. Clarify the full, please. Why is the full in reverse? Either that or you did something silly. Which one is it, Scorpio? Yeah, see, uh, you're not prepared to leave. You're going back with an offer. Um, of course, this can be in reverse, okay? So it is a general. Sometimes when we do generals, because it's such a huge amount, like thousands of people watch these, you know, sometimes the energy will come through in reverse. Um, but for most of you, I feel like you're returning to a previous situation, which previously had a very special connection, possibly twin flame connection with that two of cups. Um, but I feel like it's cooled, like the connection, I feel like maybe you haven't been in, you might not have been in. Um, communication, two of cups in reverse, please. Could be an Aries that you were dealing with. Uh, I feel like you felt too restricted in this connection. Yeah, and it's like you just hid your feelings or the other person hid their feelings they might have been very about like the rules regimented um with this emperor like i said it could be an aries but i feel like they set some rules or you set some rules which may have led to it being cut off in the past i feel like a lot of it was the emotions were totally hidden you weren't sharing your feelings they might not have been sharing their true feelings Let's talk about the Knight of Cups. What's happening with the Knight of Cups, please? Yeah. Whoever is coming back is has been devastated. Um, okay. 
So you may be coming back to a fire sign, um, but it's almost like whoever's coming back is doing that because they've been experiencing a tower moment while they've been away. And this is the only way that they know how to reverse the tower is to come back to the connection. Okay, so they, they're taking action. And I feel like this Queen of Wands is the other person that they're coming back towards. Don't get hung up on the gender. It's irrelevant. I read the genders as they are in the cards. But whoever this Queen of Wands is, that's the person that's being come back to. Come back to? <laughs> Approached? That's probably better English, right? Um, yeah, the, you've got this Knight of Cups. Could be another water sign into this queen of wands could be a fire sign doesn't have to be um but it's like i have to come back because i can't bear to be without you um whew. it's very i feel a whole lot of anxiety as well like huge amount of anxiety inside of me so i would say that that is what this person is feeling coming back um Let's see what the three, what's the three of wands, please? Seven of cups in reverse. No. Wow. Ooh, okay, so they're planning to come back with a real offer this time. They've given up all their other options. If they were entertaining other options, those options are gone. They're coming in with 10 of cups and they're planning. They're planning to spend the rest of their lives with you. Um, they may be thinking about marriage. What's the, what's the devil card then, please? Tell me about the devil card because I am nervous about this devil card showing up. Oh, I knew, I knew. I, oh, I've been trying to say when I feel like a card's going to come out and, and then I don't say it and then invariably it comes out. I knew that this was going to pull this card because this is your card with the death card in reverse. Now, a couple of things could be happening here. You may be suffering um, some addiction or they may be suffering some addiction. I feel like there's addictions at play here. Um, either they're not prepared to change or you're still not ready to change. Um, no judgment. It is what it is. Whatever it is, it could be anything. It could be a shopping addiction right up to, you know, a serious drug addiction and anything in between. So it could be any sort of addiction. I do feel like also, though, this is the other thing I'm getting, there's a codependency here. Clarify why the uh, death card is in reverse, please. Why is the death card in reverse? Oh, we got two. Yeah, see, they it's almost like this toxic codependency where they like to um it's like they get validated. There may be a Virgo involved here, but it's almost like they get validated when when you're giving more than them. That's what I feel like when things are out of whack for you um, with the six of pentacles and the, uh, the hermit in reverse here. It's almost like they want to feel like you care more about them and that's the toxicity. That's that element of codependency that's not so great. Um, or that may be you. You might enjoy knowing that they want you more than, they, more than you want them. So that's something you need to work on if that's the case. Let's go into thoughts and feelings, please, for Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Scorpio's got love on their mind. So definitely if this is you guys coming back, you're thinking about the real thing now, like you're ready. This is it. Yep, and you're going to confess. This is why I believe for most of you it is um, you're going to approach your other person and kind of tell them exactly how you feel. You're going to confess your feelings, offer them everything you thought you couldn't offer them in the past. Um, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons, Scorpio. Thoughts and feelings for Scorpio's other person in this situation, please. Mm, OK, 
Okay. So you coming back, if this is you coming back, it's giving them a lot of stress. Okay. Yeah, because... Yeah, they, they're either concerned that you're not going to um, follow through with your promises or they're, not a, they're telling you one thing and they're not able to deliver on these promises and that's stressing them out a bit. I feel like maybe they can't give you what you want or they feel like they can't give you what, they, what you want. Um, they want to because it's a wand, they want to take action, but I feel like it's it's hard. They're still not ready yet because um, <clears throat> they're carrying the burdens of the past. This is all past baggage. The other thing I'm noticing is 10 and 1, 11. So divine connection potentially with the two of cups there as well. Uh, let's see what we have. Uh-oh, I have to go diving. Hold on. Sorry, I dropped a card. Now, that was kind of weird how that card dropped because I picked the deck up and then the very bottom card flicked out. And remember how I was saying I was feeling really anxious? And that is this card, the anxiety card. So, and then we've got Hangman here, which is Pisces card. You know, seeing the reality of the, uh, the relationship as well. All right, let's go. Most likely outcome here, please, for Pisces. Uh, why do I keep saying Pisces? What is going on, Scorpio? <laughs> Most likely outcome for Scorpio, please. Gosh, I've already done Pisces. Most likely outcome in this situation for Scorpio this week, please. Right, interesting. High Priestess in reverse. Mm. That's a Cancer Pisces card, incidentally. Ah, okay. So everything in your being might be saying don't approach them. You're going to go against your intuition and probably make contact. Or if it's in reverse, they're going to do that. They're wanting to speak. You know, whoever is this guy, that's they're wanting to speak. They're wanting to communicate. They're afraid. They're terrified. They know that they've got to confess, um, but they're coming forward with a page of wands because they want something to change. Uh, Queen of Cups in reverse. Oh, wow. Okay. And then the death card in the upright. So this situation is going to make you very emotional this week, uh, Scorpio. So be prepared. Um, I think there's a lot of emotional discussions ahead for you. I don't know why I feel like it's you guys going towards your person, but that's how I feel. That's what it feels like to me. One more. Let's go with one more. Most likely outcome, Scorpio. Yeah, decisions, decisions being made. Okay. So out of this, it looks like you will make some clear decisions, um, you're going to decide to go forward and just take a risk and offer offer them. Again, it could be in reverse, so don't don't hang me with the you've got this wrong. It's in reverse. No, I don't have it wrong. You have got your energies in reverse, which is fine. It's not wrong for everyone. Nothing grinds my gears more than that. The world is not about you as an individual. All right, let's go. Advice, please, for Scorpio. Actually, there are other things that grind my gears, but, you know, this is all happening exactly in the time that it's meant to. This is divinely guided with this wheel of fortune. Everything is actually going to go in your favor. So whatever worries, concerns, you have beautiful cards with the judgment coming out as well. Advice, please. Oh, it's almost like saying just trust the universe that the right decision. Oh, my God, you've got all these angels. Like I cannot stress enough. This is all about harmony, peace, reconciliation, um, or all these angels everywhere showing up. So really indicating strongly that there is a lot of support around you spiritually, a lot of divine guidance happening for you guys in this situation. I feel like this is meant to be. One more, please. Yeah, okay. So you will need to be careful. So if this is you as the Queen of Wands, remember how I separated those two energies? Whoever's coming in is coming towards the Queen of Wands. 
Whoever is on the receiving end of this is potentially going to be feel overwhelmed. Um, so you need to be aware of that. Even though you've got all the support in the world, if this is you, that's okay. You're allowed to feel overwhelmed. If this is your person, then just know that they might feel overwhelmed so they may not react the way that you're expecting is all. All right, let's do a romance angel. But you have all the support. You have all of the universe's support here. Romance angel for Scorpio, please. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. That is what is happening here. This sharing of feelings is coming um, because they don't want to feel like this without you anymore. Um, they have really missed you and they're prepared to actually come towards you and offer you, they're coming towards you correctly, basically, um, with a real solid, substantial offer or you're coming towards them, whichever. Um, all right, let's do a romance. Oh, sorry, we, let's do three card, pick a card. We did romance, Angel. So think of a question that you would like answered. It doesn't need to be in relation to this reading. I'm going to select three cards. Whichever card you're most drawn to is the answer to your question. So card number one, please. Card number two. And card number three. Oh, we got two for card number three. Okay. Okay. If you are most drawn to card number one, your answer is big, happy changes. They are coming, Scorpio. If you are most drawn to card number two, your answer is take action. Whatever you're asking about, you need to actually make some sort of action to bring it into fruition. If you are most drawn to the cards number three, okay, perfect. You're ready. It's up to you. Okay, so again, the ball sits in your coat. You're ready. Do what you got to do. Um, so it's all in your hands at the moment, Scorpio. All right, that's what I've got for you this week. Don't forget, if you feel like you need a personal reading, um, please feel free to reach out on the details below in the description box. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, comment, comment. And I will talk to you all next week. Have a great week. Bye.